tell you what, we're back in Porto. I don't know, there's something really special about this city. I really love it. The weather's great. We've got football tonight. Let's take a look around, come on. Construction all over the square. Last time I was here, the summer before, full of Chelsea and Man City fans everywhere. Now, building, building everywhere. I guess they're doing it in the off season, getting ready for the summer. Every time I come back here, I'm amazed by the quality of the food, the soup box, the weather, and the view. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I've not even got an idea of where I'm going, I just remember from last summer. With the Turkey fans, you're taking over Portugal. Are you winning today? Yeah, we will win. Yeah, Turkey will win today. Who's gonna get the goal? Yilmaz, Burak Yilmaz, the big boy. Burak Yilmaz will make one goal. Yeah. Maybe a Kerem goal. Maybe. Right. No. Two, 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 zero, two zero Turkey. Turkey yeah. yeah. And a big question, okay? Okay. What is the biggest team in Turkey? I hope so. The, the biggest team. Beşiktaş is the biggest team in the world. <laughs> Shall I come to a Beşiktaş match next? Yeah, come to Vodafone Park. I will. Uh, visit you in the bottle of Vampire. Okay. Let's do it. Legend, bro. Thank Legend. You, Good luck tonight. Good luck tonight, okay? Little pit stop at the hotel, and it's one of those days where the shorts are out. They're back. It has been half a year keeping them in the wardrobe. It feels so good to get them back out. Porto, 19 degrees. I need to get back outside. Come on, let's go. I was going to go, but we've got one dilemma. I'm at the hotel. It's about three o'clock now, a few hours before the match. I still don't have my ticket. I ordered it on Viagogo to this hotel. It was meant to arrive yesterday. They told me when I was downstairs, it still hasn't arrived. So I don't even know if I'm going to the match tonight. We'll have to go down to the hotel and check if it's arrived. Come on, let's go. Look what's arrived. It is absolutely beautiful. I've never been so happy to get this ticket. Come on. Right, we've got some Turkey fans here in the square. Predictions, you've got a big game against Portugal. Yes. You can, can you win? Can you beat? One for Turkey. It will be a very hard game, but I think we will win 4-3. Four, four, seven a goals. Had three Ronaldo. Yeah. After extra time. This would be amazing. Yeah. This would be a dream scenario, but we'll see. We'll see. Inshallah, Turkey will win. Yeah. Yeah, 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah, and you, you qualifying after? You beat Italy? Yes. I like their confidence. That is cool. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck, all of us. Bro, look at this guy, man. He comes to Portugal. And he's eating Turkish food. Hello, my friend. How are you? Look, are you back in your nation today? You're going to beat Portugal. I miss you. You missed me? Yes. Wow. Okay, okay. That's a very nice way of starting. 2-0. <laughs> to, 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 to Portugal, wow. right? No, to Turkey. What? <laughs> this guy? No, no, Ronaldo. No, Ronaldo. No party. Right, it's fine. Okay. Yeah? Free to, free to, this is my, uh, You're the translator now, Visca. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I also say free to Theo. Why is everyone backing Turkey? You know Ro Portugal massive favourites. Yeah. Ro Ruben Diaz injured, Cancelo yeah. injured, Sa uh, Sanchez injured, Pepe injured. Bro, it, it won't be easy. We have another uh, German Turkish fan here. Yeah. He will run onto the field in the 85th minute. Watch out for it. And try to touch Ronaldo. Good luck. <laughs> we know this now. Unbelievable scene. When you come to Portugal, there's only one beer you have. There's a lot of debate whether you drink Sagres or Superbock. For me, it's Superbock. Thank you. Cheers. Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We've got the super block in hand. We've got the view. I just hope for a great game of football now. I will say 3-1 Portugal, but I call it a bit... Uh, Quiet around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think Ronaldo will score? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think he will score twice. Yeah. It's all kicking off with the Portuguese yeah. Nan. No, 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 no. It's all kicking off. Some Portugal's Nanas are kicking off with the Turk. My uh, one day in Porto before I go to Lisbon tomorrow. I want to soak it all in. So we're now Riverside. We were just up there on the bridge. We're now down here. I've joined all the Turkish fans here. I've been taken in. Will they be in the, the World Cup by the end of today? Maybe. Inshallah. Well, yeah, two more games. Two more games. 3 0. 3 0? Inshallah. I mean, fair play to the geezer. Fair play to the geezer. He's on the tunes. He's on the skills. We've got the Portugal fans here with the flag. Yeah, Love it. Yeah, yeah. Scores today. Are you winning today? Oh, yeah. Vamos, Score. Vamos. Ronaldo. Ronaldo to win. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, what's the score? Score today? 3 0, 2 0. 3 0. 3 Ronaldo. Are you qualifying? Are you beating Italy? Can you beat Italy? You can beat Italy? Easy, easy. Love it, love it. <laughs> Alright, look at this. Look at this. What's going on? What is going on here? We're already in the World Cup. We're already in the World Cup. <laughs> So we'll kick it off. All the best. Good luck tonight. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. These guys. We're trying a little pasta of the Nazis. You can't come to Portugal and not try that. Again, the Metro to the stadium. Third super fucking hand. Yeah, baby. Delicious, delicious. But even better. Show us. We have the pastel de natas. Now. You can't go to Portugal without the pastel de natas. So here we go. Little review. Mmm. Oh, very crunchy. Amazing. Look at all these turkey flags. This is crazy. Turkey could be taking over the stadium today. The home of FC Porto and Portugal tonight. You Anton, me, can I ask you? We met what? the first yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asked me, I said to you, Harvard. Every time I get you in my video, you predict it perfectly. <laughs> so I'm not going to ask you now, but at some point I in the video. I even predicted that uh, Aubameyang will score. And 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 the score. And the score. Let's go. The home of FC Porto. I'm the only one in shorts here, by the way. Notice that. What a beautiful stadium. The last time these two teams faced was 10 years ago in 2012. Cristiano Ronaldo played and grabbed an assist. We're now 10 years later, he's starting as the all-time international men's goal scorer. With 115 goals. Looking to send Portugal to the World Cup. And here comes Cristiano Ronaldo. We just clapped our section. 45 minutes till kick off. Go and join in. Big job needed from this man in front of our eyes. Vital match, a must win. And then it's Italy or North Macedonia. For a decider, teams are out. Ronaldo starting, no surprises there. Strong Turkey and Portugal team, they've gone all out. Turkey away fans, we've put in the heavens in the opportunity there. Green and red lights. That is pretty cool. All the flags. Got a little Portugal flag there. Cristiano against his old teammate Demiral. Ronaldo plays him in. Shot up. Shot. Oh, it's just wide. It's a finish. Portugal. I don't know who scored, but it's one 0 within 12 minutes. This one, Fabio. Fabio scores at the Porto Stadium. So he does. He gives him the call up and he scores. 1 0 Portugal. How did he miss that? 22nd minute. Should be 1 1 here. Turkey with an absolute go edge chance. That's a handball. That clearly hit his arm. And it was a back kill from Ronaldo. It was clever. Wide for Cristiano. To summarise the match so far, Portugal will be dominant. Still kicking off. Oh, 
Back over. Oh no, he slipped. 98th yeah. minute. I'll tell you what, that could have been the chance to make it 2 0. If he didn't slip, he would have he banged that in. This is it. This is the moment. And Ronaldo goes over to hug the lads as Portugal make it 2 0 before half time. Carnage inside the Stadio do Dragão. And in our new seat, which is directly on the halfway line, it's 2 0 to Portugal half time. And we've got some upset Turkish fans here, yeah. the Canadians, they're enjoying the day. Yeah, we're enjoying the game, but yeah. well, we knew this was going to happen. Uh, for nothing, yeah, realistic. We were just sat over there. We had no idea how the seats worked, and we ended up here together again. Yeah, you got yeah, exactly. Even better seats. A little bit of a light show going on here. Just before the start of the second half. It's pretty good. My friend just mentioned this to me and I think it's quite realistic. This Porto Stadium is a little bit like the Tottenham Stadium in the way that it's designed. How there's one stand on each side. If these, if these north and souths were longer and higher, it would just be like the Tottenham ground. Jota to make it three. Ah, oh, it's over. Ah, uh, the Liverpool forward. <laughs> Turkey. I'm back in it. That is a great bit of play. Mulemans has scored. And these two are going mad. Hey, game on. Let's game go. on. Game Let's on now. Go. Yilmaz. The away fans. Most of them are in that upper tier, so you can't even see them. There is time. In the other leg, Italy nil, North Macedonia nil, 79th minute. How are they still drawing 0-0 at home to North Macedonia? The referee is going to VAR for a Turkey penalty. I don't believe this. Could be a PK, baby. Could be a PK. Could be a PK if he's going up. PK, yeah? <laughs> VAR. Burak, one right. more. Burak, two, two. We're going over time. We're going extra time. Oh my goodness me. This might turn out into an absolute cracker. I don't know how they've done this. So many people around. It's a penalty. At the Estadio de Dragão. And the Turkey fans go wild. Penalty. The Turkey chance are out. Sorry, I didn't get on camera. But VAR has decided it's a penalty. Here we go. 84th minute on the clock. Burak Yilmaz for the double. A massive moment for the qualifiers for the World Cup. I've had the final laugh. That is that is the moment for Turkey to take it to extra time. They had their bit of luck and they've wasted it. As you can see on the board, they're five minutes out of time. Portugal are a really good team and they, they, they definitely can go far at the World Cup if they beat Italy or North Western in the next round. I have to mention that man Demiral, part of the reason Ronaldo's been pretty quiet today. Oh my god, the words just got around the stadium. Macedonia are beating Macedonia are beating Italy! And the crowd's realised. Oh! And now they've scored! Hey! Everybody loves it. Macedonia are beating Italy. And Portugal have beaten Turkey. That is absolutely bonkers. Matthias Nunes, North Macedonia are kicking Italy out of the World Cup when they've just won the Euros. How does that even wow. work? Wow. They've just won a European competition. They can't even qualify. You know what? I'm happy that Ronaldo's going to have his last World Cup. Oh wait, there's the 
guy we spoke to. He will run onto the field in the 85th minute. Good luck. <laughs> There's the guy. He's he's invaded the pitch. We spoke to him before the match. Match number one complete here in Portugal. The Estadio de Dragão. Portugal go through for their decider. They soon pass it down. Who'd excuse the third line? Honestly, who'd have thought that? Portugal play Macedonia in the next round. They've done it, haven't they? The fans were quality. I, the people in Portugal were so nice. I really enjoyed going around the city of Porto, the Superboc, the Naughty Natas. I didn't have a Franceschina, but I will have one tomorrow. I'm going to Lisbon for four or five days, so if you are around the center of Lisbon, you may even see me there. We're going to wait around for the Portugal Macedonia game. So also, if you're going to that and you have any attractions or anything like that you'd like me to see in this country, please let me know because I love it here, it's great. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. If you want me to do more international content like this, if you're from Turkey, share the Turkey goal with your mates because it was pretty good, wasn't it? And if you're from Portugal, I have to say, I love your country. It is top class and I'm sticking around for the rest of the week. So hopefully see you about. Please share this video, subscribe if you're new and let's go for 10K likes as always. See you in a bit. Big up Visca Barca, Ozin and all the lads. Bye bye.